Who is your guru? I'm Russ Rapp and I'm not your guru. I make videos on YouTube about non-duality. And this is probably my eighth take for this video because a lot of times I get in front of the camera and I don't know exactly what to say. Or I've thought about it and then when I get in the, the record light goes on even though there's, there's a little light there, it doesn't go quite as planned. And so when I see speakers talking about non-duality, a lot of times I see videos of, of uh, people in special dress, special garb, and they're talking really eloquently and using kind of cryptic words and doing all these things to kind of put themselves in a position where you believe that they have something that you, you don't. And so there is no guru when it comes to non-duality. And so we got to be really clear on, on terms that we use. And so when you talk about things like, you know, I want to get good at a particular sport, you can look up to and idolize uh, an athlete that's really good in that particular sport. So you can learn how to get better at what, what, what you're doing by emulating what they're doing. It's the same thing with meditation or quieting the mind. There are speakers that talk about ways that you can improve on quieting your mind, having more peace, having more uh, moments where you feel connected with things around you or with people or just the world in general. And that's all well and good, but when you talk about non-duality, that's just reality as it is. It is what is, it's what happen what's happening in this moment, if you want to say it like that. It has nothing to do with you, it has nothing to do with me or some guru that somehow has something uh, has figured it out that you don't have. And so non-duality literally just means not to. So that means there's no, there's no separation between subject and object. In a sense, we are all one. But it says it in a, in a negative way. So then when you're trying to claim that as a concept, it's saying, hey, you're doing that again. You're claiming that as a concept. So that's the whole point of non-duality. And so a lot of people talk about non-dual states that you can somehow attain some uh, permanent state of non-dual bliss and it's all just a bunch of crap. There's there's ways of, of in, improving your life just like exercising outside, going for a run or lifting weights or working out. And that can improve your physical capabilities in your health. But it has nothing to do with that spiritual element, that, that part of you that is just like everything else, just like everyone else. And so non-duality is the great equalizer. And so when when speakers get up there and, and, and talk about non-dual as something that you can attain or th there's some image that they've mastered something that you have, they're missing the whole point. They're talking about something completely different. So if you want to talk about quieting the mind, finding inner peace or meditation or whatever, that's all well and good, but that's not non-duality. Non-duality is what you are, what I am, what we all are. So there is there is no becoming, there's no, there's no state of non-dual um, being. It's just what is. It's just what is happening. It's just the moment right now. It's me talking to this iPhone camera sitting in, in my bedroom. That's, that's all that's happening right in this moment. And am I saying this eloquently? I have no idea. But <laughs> you probably started uh, watching this video thinking like, obviously you're, you're not my guru. I, I know that because you're just some guy you don't have very many subscribers on YouTube. You don't have many v views on YouTube. You're not like Rupert Spira or some of these other people or Ramana Maharshi or some the people that are already uh, have passed away that we idolize in in the non-dual world. Or you know, you're not you're not the one that talks about well, Neo Advaita is wrong and and uh, you know the Western way of talking about non-duality is wrong. I've got the answer. Blah blah blah. Let's talk about our mind screen all day, like that has nothing to do with it. So <laughs> the whole point I'm trying to get to is that I don't have anything that you don't have. And so I can't even tell you for sure that what I'm saying is even true. <laughs> maybe I'm wrong, maybe there is some non-dual state of bliss and you're just totally missing out, like you totally screwed that up. <laughs> You'll never figure it out. <laughs>
so <clears throat> so when you can't claim something, when you can't define something, when something is infinite or in indescribable, there's no way that I can relay that to you. There's no way that you can uh, take something from this as a concept that you can believe. That's not, that's not how it works. It's just, I can point and say, hey, you're doing that behavior again. You're, you're believing something that's just a bunch of BS. That's, that's what non-duality can teach you. And ultimately, you can do that your whole life. You can continue to make this mind game of, of playing with concepts and, and saying not this, not that. You can do the Course of Miracles, which I did for a year. And does that give me some sort of... Um, you know, stamp of approval as far as like the audience. Oh, this guy. Oh, wow. He did a Course in Miracles for a year. That's so great. He's, he must be somehow like uh, evolved or whatever. No, that has nothing to do with it. And so non-duality is just pointing to something that in a way is negating something that you've believed your whole life is that you're an individual separate self that is born, lives and dies. It's pointing to the idea of, of yourself as a concept. It's pointing to the idea of time as a concept or space or relationships is, is really just an idea, if you will. And so when you see these other speakers talk, realize if they're talking about non-duality specifically, they're not telling you anything that you don't already know. They're not, they're not giving you anything. I'm not giving you any sort of information that you can use if we're talking about non-duality. Sure, if I was good at golf, I could maybe teach you how to do a golf swing, but when it comes to non-duality, there are no non-dual teachers. It's ridiculous. There, there isn't. <laughs> There's maybe some people that do a really good job at, at decluttering their life and sitting around and meditating and having people worship them and bring them stuff. That That's great. And that there's nothing wrong with that. But like when it comes to uh, enlightenment as at, in the non-dual sense, there's nothing that you can do. You're already enlightened. And that's the, that's the peace. That's the understanding that passes. That's the peace that passes all understanding, if you will. And when I used to hear that, I used to think peace is in part, but it's peace as in, as in inner peace. And so it's always going to pass your understanding. You're never going to get it. And once you get that, you're never going to get it. That's when you finally get it, but it's not something you can have. It's not something I can give you. It's not something you can claim. That's non-duality. So if you see teachers out there trying to define terms and make it something like they, they, have, they know something, they're going to compare this, you're going to look at, uh, you know, because even uh, some of the other speakers just get up there and are, are do a really good job at, at negating everything that you say and kind of continuing to point you down that path of negation but it's almost in kind of a jokester way where they know what they're doing and it's kind of a big joke. So once you get the joke, you can still go and see them and spend your money going on retreats and doing all this stuff, but you don't have to. It's, it's kind of pointless when you're talking about non-duality. And like I said, when there's other, other forms of modalities of, of inner healing or you know shadow work or breath work or meditation or whatever, there's plenty of other information out there that you can use that can help you there's you know psychotherapy there's medication whatever works for you that's great i'm not a doctor <laughs> so but when it comes down to duality i'm an expert because you're an expert non-duality means not to that's all it means so hopefully this video is clear if it wasn't that's fine because you're gonna understand that you don't understand anything and that's great so until next time peace